Hey there, my name is Adora Curry. I work at the University of Arkansas Pulaski Technical College. Um, I'm originally from Colorado and I love to tell everybody that I am a proud alumna of Howard University in Washington, DC. Um, but beyond my smile, I have had a lot of adversity that I've endured in my lifetime um, prior to getting to where I am right now. And so I always love to have the opportunity to talk with younger people because I think it's important for you to know that um, we grownups know that life is tough and that there are a lot of challenges. But there was a saying that someone said when I was in seventh grade that the bumps are what you climb on. And I'm here to tell you that that is absolutely true. So I'm thinking about right now and there is so much noise in the world, right? Um, I mean, our whole life got flipped upside down and put on pause a year ago. I think it was March 13th that um, school started closing down because of the pandemic. And then it was like before you knew it overnight, everybody had to wear masks and we were being isolated. You're having to learn at home. Um, you're not seeing your friends as, as often as you want to. Um, you know, the learning regimen was totally different than what you were used to. You couldn't go out to eat. And it just felt like we were living in a sci-fi movie. Did anybody watch, oh gosh, there was a movie on Netflix, I think it was called The Bird Box with the blindfolds, but like how everybody was in this pandemic and everybody was basically living in these cages. I think that was the symbolism behind the movie. And that became the reality for this entire nation a year ago. And so what do you take from that, I guess, is, is my question. And I have come to try to look at the world um, from a glass half full as opposed to a glass half empty. Because when you look at things and you try to look for the positive, you can be a realist and be a realistic about your circumstances. But when you try to have a positive outlook on it, it just makes it that much more easier to, to bear. And so from the pandemic, I, use, I like to call it our year of pause, even though we're still in pause. Um, I want you to reflect on the things in life that weren't so great or in school prior to the pandemic. Um, maybe you didn't have as many friends as you had hoped. Maybe you'd made some mistakes and you weren't the kindest friend that you could have been. Maybe you didn't try as hard in school or you didn't go out for that athletic team that you wanted to go after. Maybe there are some issues at home that could have been better or some relationship that you could have nurtured differently. This is a great time for reflection because we're spending a lot of time by ourselves right now. And it's a great time for reflection in the sense of how could that situation be better? Um, what can I do better or what can I do differently? And how can I fix it? Because this pause of pandemic will not last forever. But if you can consider those things now, you can start planning for that so that when we come out of this pandemic, we can all be better people to ourselves and to one another. We can go back to school and notice the new kid who doesn't know anybody and take the initiative to get to know them, to speak to them, to invite them to sit with you at lunch or to invite them to hang out with you after school. Um, we can consider you know, some things that we might have said that were mean to other people or landed us in detention or anything else and say, how can I be a different person? Because I have no idea what the person in front of me or the person next to me has endured at home because of the pandemic. They might have lost family members to it. They might have themselves been someone who had to be in isolation because of COVID. And because you don't know those circumstances, but it's been uniquely challenging for everybody, I think it gives you a heart of empathy for everyone so that you can be more loving to your neighbor. And then also we think about the summer and how there was so much division, especially when it came to race in Arkansas, around the country. Every time you turned on the TV, something was going on and it was really, really tense. And that has played out all the way through the beginning of 2021. And whether you agree with people or disagree with people, I think we've all learned the lesson that we can all say things a little bit more kind and we can all take the time to listen, to hear what people have to say. And we can also take the time to get to know people instead of going off of what we think about them or what we've heard about them. That's just how we can be better. And like I said, we are still in a time of pandemic. So this is the best time ever to apply those things so that you come out stronger 
and um, you can be proud of the version of yourself that you are evolving into, um, and you can apply those measures when when life gets back to normal. You can start practicing them now because when you practice something, it becomes a habit, and when you continue that habit, it becomes a part of your lifestyle. Don't you want to be the kind of person that you know you can be proud of? Don't you want to leave that kind of a legacy where people look at you and they think of you and they smile years and years down the road where your children, your family are happy because of the positive difference you've made. That choice starts right now. You can apologize. You can, you can do research. You can, you can reach out to people and make connections, but just do something to make your quality of life better for yourself and for those that are around you.